tutorial and today in GIMP we're going to be making this. Alright, so uh, let's get started. I'm going to make a uh, new image. 640 by 480 is good. I'm going to minimize that. Then I'm going to make a new layer and using my uh, path tool I'm going to create a triangle about like this and connect it on either end. Gotta make sure it's straight. So we're gonna press enter to convert it into a selection and uh, fill it in with, uh, actually we're gonna fill it in with white. Select, shrink, and shrink it by 20 pixels. Press delete on your keyboard and uh, you can select none. I think that's good. Next what we're going to do is take a really light gray color and a really dark gray color. Click that lock alpha button on this and we're going to um, set the mode on radial and put the layer mode or the gradient on FG to transparent. Uh, that's good. All right. So now what we're going to do is make a new layer above this, fill it in all with black, um, put the layer mode on dodge, and then using your paintbrush on a pretty low opacity with a regular size brush, about like that, we're going to paint uh, a line across here. And then one right here. Alright, I think that's good. Uh, now what we're going to do is go filters, light and shadow, lighting effects. And actually we're going to merge that down and we're gonna go to lighting effects and I'm going to put one uh, lighting effect 0.25 around like that I'm gonna put a lighting effect around here think that's good and click OK. Alright, <clears throat> so that sort of uh, made this more apparent. Uh, we're going to duplicate this layer, go filters, blur, motion blur, use the following settings 55 and 90 and click OK. That's good. And we're going to move this layer down to about like there and put the layer mode on difference. And we're going to be using our eraser tool on a big eraser. And I'm going to erase this parts that I don't want. This, that. that um, turn down the scale a little bit about like that <coughs> I think uh, that's good all right uh, now what we're gonna do is I think we can merge that down no we can't uh, now what we're gonna do is um, do some more lighting effects. So on this layer, we're gonna auto crop or er, um, 
lock the alpha channel, then go uh, light and shadow, light and effects, and we're gonna put one right down here, right there, distance. right there that's good <clears throat> alright and click OK okay so now it's sort of getting a metallic feel alright <clears throat> now what we're gonna do is go filters sorry filters reshow lighting effects again and put the light in the middle and check enable bump map put material check metallic like that um map and enable environment map is fine turn up the brightness shiny polished glowing glows more and click OK <coughs> well that's loading all right um, and we're going to erase this bit and a little bit of the top <clears throat> and I think that's good okay um, now what we're going to do is on the background layer sorry on the background layer what we're gonna do is get on the background uh, we're going to just stroke up what we're gonna do is make a new layer and make the window bigger and then just stroke down about like that I think that's good just turn down the opacity a little bit like that and then you are done uh, yeah, so this is how to make a metallic triangle glowy effect in GIMP. Um, thanks for watching this tutorial. Bye.